Hi, I'm Jack Barnes, President and CEO of People's United Bank. I'm here on Audubon Street in New Haven, a vibrant cultural center. People's United Bank is proud to support the communities where we live and work. That's why we're supporting CPTV and the many Connecticut cultural treasures they will be featuring over the coming months. Look for stories each week featuring a cultural treasure in your neighborhood. The world's largest Native American museum is right here in Connecticut. The Mashantucket Pequot Museum and Research Center takes visitors on a journey through time, dating back 18,000 years to the present day. It's an adventure that weaves both natural history and Native American history together in an immersive experience. The lifelike village is amazing for people. You're stepping back hundreds of years, so you feel the heat, you smell the fire burning, you hear the noises of the, the animals around the village, and um, you actually get to hear some of the conversations between the uh, life casts. The lifelike casts were constructed from native people across the United States, and you see them throughout the museum. A ride down into the beginning of the Ice Age starts the journey with frigid cold waters and a peek into how the landscape was formed. Here you see the first humans and animals that populated the region. In the aftermath of a successful hunt, members of this ancient hunting group had begun to butcher the fallen caribou. We provide as much information as we can to the public, but it's layered. So someone can go through this museum two or three hours, and we've had actually some people who have gone through every exhibit, read every piece of text, you know, experienced all the audio, the films, and it's three full days. One of the ways the museum tries to bring you closer to nature is by incorporating nature whenever they can, which is why they have this observation deck, which is 18 stories high and overlooks the Connecticut Hills. One of the main permanent exhibits includes a massive Pequot village. Everything in it, from the tools to the clothing to the bark on the trees, is made by a native person in the United States. It's pretty authentic, and it had a, a great perspective of, of integrating research, archaeology, and sort of native perspective, craftspeople who, would, who really brought all this to life. The museum is configured chronologically, in this 16th century coastal Pequot village, you can see 12 wigwams and life-size figures showing what everyday life was like, cooking, making tools, hunting. Here visitors go from pre-European contact to post-contact, where you see evidence of disease and war, as in this Medicine Man exhibit. Throughout your visit here, you can take a break in any of the small theaters we have the tool theater where you can go in and learn about how tools were made hundreds of years ago and how they compare to the tools of today. Kimberly Shockley is a tribal member and works at the museum. It's, it's important to me because we're, we're dispelling stereotypes and we're teaching children about diversity and that the Native people still are here today and they're not going anywhere. We're a thriving people and we're survivors. So um, it's really important for our people to be able to tell our story. Probably one of the most remarkable things about this museum, and it underscores the, um, the philosophy of the tribe, is they're trying to give you the information to make your own decisions about the past. Within this space is an active laboratory. The tribe supports a wide range of research in colonial, native, and African history and archaeology. You look at the diameter, um, we look to see if uh, there's any marks that might indicate they're modern. Here, musket balls unearthed from nearby battlefields reveal a window into the past. We're looking at sort of the evolution of, of diplomacy, relationships, tactics, use of weapons as well. 
And it's provided us with pretty interesting insights on both the colonial world in Connecticut as well as the native world. Even though it's been more than a decade since the museum opened, the exhibits you see here are constantly evolving, reinforced by new research that is carried out here. The museum serves as a caretaker of the culture, giving those who come here a renewed sense of Native America and of a thriving culture, making the Mashantucket Pequot Museum and Research Center a must-see Connecticut cultural treasure. Funding provided by CPTV, the state of Connecticut, Melinda and Paul Sullivan, Mashantucket Pequot Museum and Research Center, and People's United Bank, what know-how can do.